Good luck to both teams, Surf Slayers and Chocolate Powder. It's pretty poggers name if I do say so myself. Let me put some in-game sound on a little bit. Ooh, interesting unit comp to start here. We got... Looks like, looks like, uh, who's on the attack here first? It looks like Surf Slayers is taking the attack, and it looks like Chocolate Paladin's on defense for the first round here. Um, Chocolate Paladin is setting up very heavily on the bridge side wall. Looks like Surf Slayers is taking the central approach, not going for the bridge rush initially, but making a central approach. Very interesting strat from what the last stream that I did. Um, we'll have to see here. We'll see who's, uh, what happens and what goes down. Unit comp is definitely interesting as friend. well. Appreciate that stuff. Thank you. Very interesting uh, unit comp by uh, Chocolate Paladins here. Max, what's your what's the vibe right now, Max? Uh, I am interested to see what Sir Slayer is going to do with those six musket. Um, I'm very interested as well. That is very good. My, my best guess is that they're preparing for like the bottom staircase hole, and they're going to try and bomb them out of it. Uh, but I, I don't know exactly how useful those are going to be at the beginning here. Um, probably predicting a A and B give. Um, they committed a lot more people to that B side hold than I think they need uh, for Chocolate Paladin. So I'll, I'll be interested to see if Surf Slayer takes advantage of that. Yeah, and the unit comp here is very interesting. Jab's coming to play heavy here for, for the... Well, pretty selfish if I say so myself, but I'll have to see how that works out for them. I'm not really a Jab guy myself, but uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, Paladins has some some pretty good jab players and Ripcats and, and Toes and a couple of those guys. So maybe they're playing to that strength, but it'll be interesting to see. Yep. I'm just going to zoom out real quick. It looks like Chocolate Paladins is going to go for a hard rush right off the bat. Surf Slayer is taking a central approach. Look at this hard. Holy shit, they're going for it, ladies and gentlemen. In a tournament, they're going for it. Look at this. A full set right now happening by, by, by Chocolate Paladins on Surf Slayers. What is what? I don't know what to say to this. If this goes the way I think it, if this goes well, this could be game changing for Chocolate Power. It's making a huge play right off the bat, trying to buy time on A and B. Very different strategy here than what we originally saw against PG and uh, Holy Crusaders here. Very different strategy completely. Um, oh, this sh is interesting. <laughs> this is a, a very interesting strat. Uh, roll taking the back line. Mask Flames chasing Moosman. Rolling with the Moosman best. Going for Mask Flames. Going for the captain right now. Mickey coming into support. They're just going head on into each other. They're not even flanking around here. Um, I'm not really sure what the gameplay is. They are fighting heavily over this supply point. I'm going to go in for a uh, closer look here real quick. See what the vibe is. Yeah, it's 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 a hard it's a hard exchange here. It looks like uh, Surf Slayer is definitely walking away with the unit traits here. Um, decisively, as a matter of fact. Um... Yeah, it looks like they're down 100 units on the Chocolate Paladin side. Did they push out with a bunch of P? They pushed out with multiple sets of PGs, it looks like. And, uh, you know, they're just trying to ape the supply point. Uh, I'm going to zoom out real quick. Go for a, an angle here that we can get better look in here. Max, what's the thought here? Do we think this is the play, bro? Or, or, or what, man? Uh, I, I mean, I think what they were trying to do is potentially catch them by surprise. Um, I don't think it worked very well for them. They kind of bunched up really hard to, to push the supply and uh, they didn't really utilize the, the flanking at all from what I saw and they just kind of paid for that they definitely hard. yeah they're definitely paying for it right now um, Surf Slayers is definitely walking away with a hard dub from that exchange just now um, I think that they bought at least a minute and a half but they lost I mean the unit exchange there I, I don't know if it was worth it um, for Chocolate Paladins there I really will have, will have to see how it plays out for them after but um I think Canadian Cowboy, if I'm mistaken, not mistaken, is leading the chart. This is definitely a Canadian Cowboy strat. Am I not? This is a Canadian uh, strat like, one I've the, ever seen. One, one in the bro. chat, if this is literally just Canadian Cowboy, not knowing what to do and just doing a, 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 a Sally. I think that's the, that might be the strat. I, I don't know. But uh, I, I don't think it was the play. I honestly don't think it was the play. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, they yeah. bought a minute and a half and lost a bunch of valuable units. They could, I, 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 don't, I don't think I would have done that. I don't think, I think that's what I, would, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, uh, I don't think the the trade there for Paladins was uh, worth the the two minute because no. now the those two minutes don't really buy them anything because they're gonna land all three towers and then they're gonna get six more minutes from taking the right. other two points for free. So yeah, I, 
And it looks like hard, uh, hard to say. It looks like Chocolate Paladins isn't even going back on the walls. They look like they are setting up to give A and B here. Bridge is still up on B side. They, I mean, at this point, Surf Slayers has a lot of room to kind of just go in and make a play and get the towers up, get set up comfortably. Um, a couple of, of um, a couple of Chocolate Paladins masked up on supply point, really kind of clumped up right there, not really setting up in time to get back in positions. Um, the units they banned for those who don't know uh, is the Jav Cavs and Iron Reaper. Sorry, I thought I thought you guys saw that when I was streaming. Um, could have sworn I, said, yeah, I literally said it. Um, that's five minutes away, whatever. Um, so yeah, it looks like let's go for a tower play here. Go hard tab right, ape it. I mean, it does not look like uh, Surf Slayer is even caring about B at this point in time. They are hard focusing A. Um, Chocolate Plowdens are not going to give A for free here. They are going to go ahead and set up on A here. Canadian Cowboy bringing Imperial Archers. I'm not. I, I really don't know about that. What What are the thoughts on that, Masters, with Archers in, in this in this fight? Do you think that would that's actually decent? Um, not necessarily for, for this map. I'll, I'm curious where he's actually going to put them. Um, we've used them, uh, before on Fjord, but that's really the only map that yeah. we've ever even touched them. Uh, Chocolate Paladin is giving A for free here. Um, Surf Slayer is taking it decisively, which is expected. Um, I was not expected to try to tank this and take away the Trebs. Um, not really sure what that Treb is over there. Well, I'm... Does that land? No way, right? It, it hits part of the supply. Oh, if it, uh, I see. RNGs well. If it RNGs, yeah. So A and B will go for free here. It's gonna take. A, it's gonna be a little bit of a slower setup here. I'm gonna slow down the camera real quick, and uh, if I could figure out how to slow down the camera, kick W. So based off the unit cop here, those Senjis are still not really coming into play. One set of Senjis out right now for Surf Slayers. Um, Falcos on the field here for Chocolate Paladins. Let's see if they can make a play with those Falcos. Unit comps are pretty even at this point in time um i really i think the archers are kind of a waste but i mean we'll have to see we'll have to see my camera just slowed down on zone that's kind of questionable uh yeah yeah there's a lot of uh so far it's 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 definitely leaning right now towards star slayers no doubt about it in my mind no doubt about it in my mind uh but we'll have to see how they set up if they, they i mean right now everyone's kind of taking their time right now like max do you think they should be taking their time right now or, or like rushing this shit like they only have they have 10 minutes on the clock so they do have a few minutes too to spare yeah, i think they were waiting for that uh that breach to go down um mm. before they kind of went down into this uh, yeah. because if you don't take down the breach you can get kind of sandwiched pretty hard right there between yeah. the wall where they're pushing oh yeah look at that right now there goes surf slayers going down in mass in a, in a brute force push um, looks like they're going to make a hard play here for the tab left side. Um, it looks like Chocolate Paladins are in position. They are kind of split right now between the, with, between tab left, tab right, and tab right mid. Um, watching supply point for any rushers there. But it looks like uh, Surfside doesn't even give a shit about supply point. They are going straight for a tab left ma maintenance play here, holding down the gap. They're going to get Falcoed out pretty hard yeah, here from Falco supply point. Supply that Falco, if those here. Falcos are protected and start shooting right away, he, they could do massive damage here. We'll have to see how Chocolate Paladins gets in position, gets set up. They need to get set up right now. It looks like Surf Slayers is reacting to that instantly. It looks like the, the Falcos only shot a little bit and they're already instantly reacting, doing a hard rotation. Tab left side for Chocolate Paladins is rotating slowly, but they not not get there in time. It looks like right now, Tab right supply is going to get anti. The Falcos are going to get anti by, by Surf Slayers here. Heavy anti coming in hard. Um, the Falcos are able to get out in time, protect, protected by Medaus. Central and Tab left are kind of being flanked slightly by Chocolate Paladins, but they are being watched very nicely by, by Surf Slayers right now. Um, the trades are definitely still in the favor of Surf Slayers. Uh, Chocolate Paladins really needs to get up, catch up on unit count and on hero count here if they want to stay in this fight. Why just, what did I just press? Where their names go? There you go. It's time to get out. Right now, Surf Slayers is kind of caught in between. A uh, flanking play made by Mr. Bombastic, but Flair is able to secure that and take him down pretty quick. Central still being watched by a handful of cho by Chocolate Paladins. Um, supply point being the top priority focus probably right now for Chocolate Paladins. Surf Slayers is literally sitting in, a ta in the corner on tab right side. Um, if they got, if they were able to get an angle, which they don't have, Chocolate Paladins, Chocolate Paladins was able to get an angle here, they could have got to some damage there. But Surf Slayers are doing really nice rotations. They really want this. Um, they are just rotating very nicely as a unit, as a, as a uniformed unit. Uh, and Surfside is going hard central push right here. We'll have to see how Chocolate Paladins reacts. At this point in time, Chocolate Paladins is very reactive. Um, they're just trying to make something happen. Uh, sorry, I pressed the on accident. It does look like uh, 
Yeah, Surf Slayers is still pretty in. And there comes Chocolate Paladins with a flanking play. Let's see if they're able to get it done. Cut off Surf Slayers from the back here. If they can actually make a fucking play and flank around, they might actually have a chance. We'll have to see if Chocolate Paladins has it in them to actually make a flanking play. Otherwise, it, it will be a Surf Slayer victory. We'll have to see. Chocolate Paladins is not fl out in the main line at all. Their flank just got completely wiped. Uh, Surf Slayers maintains their death ball, sustains it completely, and... Uh, Chocolate Paladins kind of getting in there with hero play. It's going to come down to some hero play. Chocolate Paladins is actually making a play here. Winning the exchange slightly. Surf Slayers, it's a very even trade right now. Surf Slayers is still trying to react, recover from it. It looks like Surf Slayers will lose this push. Chocolate Paladins does resecure it. Resecure the push. Um, only down by 100 units, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is anybody's game right now. It's actually more units on the field right now for Chocolate Paladins than Surf Slayers. They don't have supply. They have nowhere to go. Um, at this point, Chocolate Paladins needs to clean up the mess, mop up, do some janitorial duties, some custom, you know, some customs duties. Uh, you know, check some passports or something. I don't know, but they gotta do something here, ladies and gentlemen. Max, what's the thought? What's the vibe, man? Yeah, um, they, the that back flank from the Cavs did get stopped, but Fnatic came in from the other side with those Keshik and really change that engagement for for paladins i agree very game change honestly i thought surfer is gonna walk with that and then one game changing play by fanatic and got the victory there for chaka paladins to walk away with a nice hold there right now it is kind of anybody's game um that was a really nice recovery for chocolate paladins they're still in this match ladies and gentlemen confirmed still in this match it looks like Surf Slayers was not expecting that wipe and are trying to reset back up. We'll have to see. They're going to go for another attack, I assume, within the next two to three minutes. We'll have to see. They have room. They have time for at least two or more, three more attacks. Chocolate Paladins has definitely got their morale boosted just now. Um, they are resetting up back in position, getting ready in the same exact format. Um, Surf Slayers going for a hard tab left push this time, setting up the same exact format. Um, Chocolate Paladins is still in the same exact format as well. They'll have to see that they're going to go into a reactor state very shortly, I think, again. But it looks like Chocolate Paladins is definitely on top of their game. Morale is lightly boosted after that, um, after that sally out kind of failure. Um, looks like they are. Tab left side is definitely going to get pushed here. They don't see the Treb coming in. That's going to be a decent Treb. I actually know it's not. Disregard that. Um, that Treb is just missing. Very unlucky for Surf Slayers there. Really nice play by Surf Slayers. Big death ball right there. Can Chocolate Paladins get it done? Can they react to this in time and clear that out? We'll have to see. Tablet Supply needs to react. Those Falcons need to be firing on that death ball, taking out the anti calf And Chocolate Paladins needs to flank. Uh, Chocolate Paladins does not have a flanking opportunity right now. They just don't have it. Um, that gap side is just constantly being flowed by Surf Slayers. They are watching their flank pretty heavily, waiting for Chocolate Paladins to do the same flank again. Um, it looks like Surf Slayers will get that tab left side and win the exchange there for the most part. Um, Seed being capped slightly by Surf Slayers here. Tab left side is pretty much won by Surf Slayers. Um, it's just hero play there at this point. This, the unit comp is definitely gone. Uh, Surf Slayers have confirmed wins their exchange on tab left side. Seed may go here. Supply point heavily contested as well. It is not looking good right now for Chocolate Paladins. They are down seven players. Um, right now, Surf Slayers should walk away with C and probably supply point as well. Um, at this point in time, it's a full fallback for uh, Chocolate Paladins. Um, and Surf Slayers is definitely uh, resecuring. They do not want to lose that second push. Um, if they lost that second push, it would have been really kind of the best spot for them. They win that C exchange. They get the unit comp back up. And it's, it's pretty much leading towards Surf Slayers again. Uh, Max, did I miss anything? What do you think? What do you think of Max? No, I, I think it, it kind of came down to uh, Paladins burned a lot of their calves. Um, early in that engagement, and if you saw, like, Surf Slayer brought probably four or five sets of them uh, through that breach there, and really just, like, cleaned up the, the heroes that were left from that uh, left side engagement, and then they also did a split push to the supply, which uh, worked out quite well for them. They picked up the Falcos on the supply as well, uh, so those will no longer be in play for the Paladins. I think Chocolate Paladins is definitely a tough spot right now. Um, their previous deaths are definitely costing them in time. Um, six minutes on the clock, final home point hold, and uh, the unit comp is just not there right now for Chocolate Paladins. This is looking like a GG uh, for sure. Unfortunately, the unit comp is definitely not in the f is definitely uh, not in the favor of Paladins. Surf Slayers is definitely a force to be reckoned with, and they came to play tonight. Um, yeah, look at that unit comp. That unit comp is completely different than uh, than uh, what they have on the field right now. Yeah, a lot, a lot of really strong units left for uh, for Surf Slayer, and uh, a few of the Paladins players are down to some peasants. So I think this is just going to be one last big push from Surf Slayer right here, and that will probably be the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that Sally really cost uh, Chaka Paladins here. I think they had high hopes for a Sally. Um, I mean, I think Sally on the reigning champion house um, was not the play. Surf Slayer actually had a guy going to the back line to, to actually handle their foul because I think they overestimated Chocolate Paladins in that front. They are not set for home at all. They weren't planning to lose C. And, um, 
they definitely were not planning to lose C. Surfside is pushing for home right now. Uh, Chaka Paladins has some decent players in position, but um, they're just getting walked on point right now. One flanking play, and it's over right now for Fat Chaka Paladins. Um, it looks like Surfside is actually playing conservative and watching their back line, killing guys in the back line before they even push in. They only have a handful. They split 7-8 stat track right now. Um, Backline pretty much run, run, pretty much still completely controlled by Surf Slayer. Backline very healthy, and they're pushing off on main two. They've won the exchange. I haven't really saw. Uh, Surf Slayer has lost like I think one out of four exchanges. They had a seventy five percent exchange win rate here. Um, that's gonna get mean if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, yeah. Eighty four percent. Eighty four percent confirmed. I, I would say eighty four percent of the exchanges here were won by Surf Slayer. Uh, I think that is going to be all she wrote right there. Yeah, that's definitely over. That's definitely over. Yeah, that's 100%. I'm going to surf slide right now. And there's a 1v1 happening. There's a Chinsu and no name Onyx on supply. Uh, but it's definitely over for uh, Chaka Pound. It's a very nice try. Very, very nice plays by uh, Surf Slayers. Really good fight right there. Um, you know, there was a spur of hope there for Chaco Paladins at one point. Um, would you agree, Max, was that one C push when Chaco Paladins kind of came back for them and Fnatic was able to make that game-changing play? Um, do you think that was, like, you know, the opportunity for them to, like, kind of, like, recover and re regroup a little bit? Yeah, I, I think that that was a really good engagement from them. Um, and I think had they not burned a full set of their good units on that Sally, they potentially go into that C point with a lot more to, to work with. Mm -hmm. And I think potentially that goes a little bit differently for them. But I, I think you saw, you know, they lose a full set of good units on that Sally. And at the end right there, you know, had they had those units out, um, you know, potentially the home hold looks a little better. Um, but unfortunately, that was not the case. Yeah. I'm looking at this right now. I mean, you can see you can, if you look at the post battle analysis, you can see on that on that initial push, um, they committed a shit ton of units to that supply point push.